beautiful people. This is your girl, Ingrid, and I am here with Curve Through Runways Fashion and Quarantine, where we're going to share with you all the great things that the models and designers are doing in the world during this pandemic. But before we get into that, I have to tell you about Curve the Runway. Curve the Runway was founded in early 2018 by the multi-talented Miss Keisha Peaches Codwell and co-founder Lee Johns with a mission to support the inner and outer beauty of plus-size women in New Orleans. On August 17th, they held their first auditions and a little over a month later, on Sunday, September 25th, 2018, Curve the Runway NOLA debuted to great success. Plans were immediately underway for the 2019 show. Sadly, founder Peaches passed away one month after the show. Co-founder Lee, along with the Curve the Runway team, Dana Deal, Nia Davis, Falami Jenkins, have gone above and beyond in answering the call to pick up the torch, carrying on the Curve the Runway brand in the name of Peaches, keeping her legacy alive. In one short year, they've taken the Curve the Runway brand to national awareness in fashion with the size-inclusive bridal segment presented by the bridal citizen, Pep Holman. Curve the Runway has been transformative for many of its models and participants. Many were novices to the modeling world and were overcoming society's standard of beauty. The Curve the Runway team not only placed plus-size women in couture designs, but through months of practice, built up their confidence, empowered their sense of self, and perfected their struts. The Curve the Runway NOLA 2019 models left the runway on fire, leaving Curve the Runway in high demand across the country. A round of applause to the models, the production team, and cheers to Miss Peaches, who is surely beaming with pride from heaven above. Bonds have been built, sisterhoods formed, and cross-promotion galore. These models have forged friendships. They hang out, they work together, and have many projects in the works. Curve the Runway has given these women something that they can be proud of and take into the rest of their lives. I'm a model, and I did it on the Curve the Runway stage. The entire production and experience was immaculate. I was proud to be a part of it. Moving forward, during the pandemic, Curve the Runway co will continue to provide a platform for the Curve the Runway community with this weekly web series. Here we are. Let's get started. Introducing our guest, Kendall Weed, Curve the Runway model and registered nurse. Born and raised in the suburbs of New Orleans, she loves food, friends, family, and fun. Kendall is one of our day ones. She wowed us at the very first Curve the Runway audition with her sass and shining spirit. She told us that day that she had never done anything like this before, but was trying on something new. She's been with us from every practice, social gathering, to rooting for new models. We have watched her transform from a woman trying on something new to a top model in our community. She was our breakout star during the first show. Just the mention of her hand fan, how she confidently whipped it out and continued to proudly strut the catwalk will forever be a top moment for Curve the Runway. We thank Kendall for coming to our audition. She became a major inspiration to us and is verified one of the reasons for creating Curve the Runway. This is the place where you can try something new. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? I'm just excited to be here today. And and listen, you are iconic for being just at the very first show. What has it meant to you to be a Curve the Runway model and what did you learn? I feel like the biggest lesson I learned was how to actually love myself, the skin I'm in, my body. Um, I felt like a butterfly that came out of its cocoon had been waiting for this moment my entire life. Um, I mean, during auditions and during every practice, I was I overthinking it. I was a bundle of nerves. I felt like I just couldn't get it right. And then something on the day of the show just clicked. And 
they put the fan in my hand and that was it. I was, I was hooked. <laughs> what would you pinpoint as being one of the main ingredients as to why Curve the Runway is so successful in building a confidence in women? We, we built each other's confidence. The other models, the coaches, the Curve the Runway team, we all built each other up. We, when one of us was feeling down and not quite sure, there were 10 others that were saying, come on, girl, you got this. You are fierce. You are phenomenal. You can do this. And we did. So as far as yourself, you are a registered nurse. How have you been working through the pandemic? I've been, um, I work at Oshner um on the front lines doing just my no my normal job but with extra precautions extra you know extra help <laughs> um i mean people have come from all over the country to help keep the patients safe and keep ourselves safe and we're doing the best we can with what we have but we're doing it. We're 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 making changes and it's hopefully for the better in the long term. And as far as the news is concerned and it's telling everyone to get tested, are you guys seeing the drop in the curve as far as them opening everything back up? Well, I think we are heading into a new normal um where we can't go back to how we used to be. We need to be more aware of our surroundings, more aware of the people around us, more aware of ourselves, how we are in the world. Um, I feel like, you know, I feel like masks are gonna be the new trend and new style, you know, matching with outfits, matching with uh, hairstyles, everything. Um, I feel like, if we better ourselves we can better the we can better society and we can better the world but it has to start with us it has to start with each individual so personal protective equipment and the mask are definitely going to have to be one of those things that that's not going to go away so with curve the runway to. we're implementing it into our fashions have you at all implemented fashion, the fashion of mask into your routine? Um, I've tried, unfortunately, my uh, routine mainly consists of work and then home. Yes. And uh, everything few and nothing really in between. Um, but I would love to <laughs> start being able to go out into the world again and i would love to be able to incorporate um masks that are safe and yet stylish at the same time yes so what is a message that you would like to leave our audience with as a registered nurse be safe um that the masks you wear aren't necessarily just to protect yourself but it's to protect the ones you love it's to protect your fellow man your fellow woman child anybody um that being safe doesn't mean we're afraid it just means we are we are moving forward we and care. we are progressing. Yeah, we care. I think that's the it main thing love. when it comes to people um, opting not to wear the mask, not understanding that it's not just about them, that it's about other people as well. It's it's about love. It's about love for humanity as a whole. You know, it's empathy. It's compassion. It's it's the courage to love more than just the people you know. It's the people that you don't. 
That's powerful. That's a powerful statement. And we thank you so much for joining us today. And we want to, once again, thank you for being a Curve the Runway model. You will, we sure that we're going to be seeing you on the Curve the Runway stages in the future. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> thank you so much, Kendall. Introducing our next guest, Ms. Tracy McCormick, designer of Tracy McCormick Designs. She hails from Georgia, but her family-owned business is located in New Orleans. Her designs were featured in both the 2018 and the 2019 Curve the Runway fashion shows. Tracy focuses on making garments that suit both personality and lifestyle. She likes function with her fashion. Hi, Ms. Tracy, how are you doing? I'm great today, Ingrid. How are you? I'm so wonderful because I am currently wearing one of your designs. And it feels so good, y'all. Tracy has been getting blown up since we started promoting Curve the Runway with her fashions, highlighting her fashions and designs. How are you? I am really, really excited. I'm happy. I'm blessed. And thanks to Curve the Runway, I'm busier than ever. Speaking of Curve the Runway, you have been featured in both shows. Tell me what your experience was like as a designer for Curve the Runway. Phenomenal. To be self-taught and exposed to such a grand platform, it, it gets no better. I mean, you meet the best people, you form bonds, you form business connections, and you get the chance to actually grow. So Curve the Runway has allowed me to just really flourish personally and professionally. So we have a pandemic going on right now and you have designed some immaculate designs. Can you tell us about your designs and how you are adjusting and being innovative during the pandemic with your designs? Sure, so when the whole Corona COVID-19 situation started, it took us by surprise, obviously. And I decided to make masks. I used to make all kinds of stuff in the past. So I had some filter material here. Um, and I'm like, yeah, let's make a mask and let's include it with the garment. You know, it, it means you can still be cute and safer. So uh, my husband's military, they got called back. I was afforded the opportunity to make masks for first responders. So military personnel, nurses, NOPD, um, it, it's just been great. That is amazing. You are really on the front lines from your design studio. I have a little one in the house, so I have to ask, have you been around somebody sick? When you come in, can you go ahead and wash your hands, take off your shoes? Um, I have masks at the ready, hand sanitizer at the ready. And you know, I just, take precautions to get you cute, but safe. You know what I mean? Yes. So, so you that's what you're doing to help people on the front lines. Do you see the pandemic changing the way you go about designing clothes in the future? It, it, it is, it has so far. Um, right now, what I ask people to do, if I'm not familiar with them, after a lengthy conversation, we do a messenger chat and I tell you, hey, get your tape measure and I watch you measure yourself so I can make sure the numbers you see and the numbers I see are the same. And that allows me to adjust. Another thing is, is I'm not really doing zip movements. I'm switching to softer fabrics, things with a little bit more stretch and customizability because you just don't know. I don't get three or four fittings anymore. I just get the one shot to get it right. Tell me a little bit about your design. Like even before the pandemic, what was your your approach to fashion? Fun. I, I want you to be able to have fun. I want you to live in your clothes. I don't want you to be like, oh, I got this piece. I can only wear it to this specific venue or I can only wear it this way. When you get a garment, you can change it up. Put that dress on with sneakers, you know, um, switch out your heel color change your accessories so a lot of my pieces also are convertible so you can tie them one dress will give you at least 10 looks if it's a skirt then you just change out your top 
You can do leather. You can do denim. You can put on a crop top. I love crop tops. Hands down, love crop tops. <laughs> Everybody can wear a crop top. So that's my approach to fashion. I want you to be comfortable. Is it true that you sold out of your designs leaving the Curve the Runway fashion show? Yes, yes. There is nothing left. <laughs> that was so amazing. I don't really get a lot of uh, traffic on my site. I didn't prior to Curve the Runway 2019. At the end of that show, I had so many messages, like everything. I had so many orders. It, it was overwhelming. So what message would you leave to other designers who want to be a part of Curve the Runway? What would you tell them? Come on. Make sure you're ready to have fun. Um, make sure you're ready to adjust with the changing times. You know, if you're if you're only going to do your thing one way, it's not going to it's not going to work. You have to be willing to bend a little and and be flexible for the needs of, of the world, you know, the people that you're styling. Sure. So, so for those who yeah. want to partake in your designs, who want to be fitted by you and style some of your, and wear some of your clothing, how can they go about finding you, following you, and booking an appointment or coming through to get some designs by Tracy McCormick? They can call me. No, seriously. You can find me at www.tracymccormickdesigns.com. You can email me, tracymccormickdesigns at Yahoo. Um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. All of it's the same. I keep it simple. Tracy McCormick Designs. And yeah, just call me. Just call me. Check it out. Call me before 8.30. Thank you so much, Miss Tracy, for coming through for the Curve the Runway web series. Have a great day, beautiful. Thank you. You have a great day, too.